What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Five Wars Deke. It is week four of the 2012 season. We are coming off our first loss of the year. We were in New Orleans, fell to the Saints on the last second field goal, but now we are back at the crib, taking on the Panthers, coming off of a bye. The Panthers had a week three bye. How terrible is that for them? They got to play all these games in a row, starting with us here in KC. Panthers won the toss and elected to receive, so they will begin this game at their own 24-yard line. Lonnie Phillips is the quarterback. D'Angelo Williams is the running back. Their top receiver is still Steve Smith. The give to D'Angelo Williams, and he's got nowhere to go. We have been historically good against the run. It's, it's the passing defense that I think we can get a little bit better at. But we held the Saints without a third down conversion last week. Here comes D'Angelo Williams and Solomon missed the Yayer. First down Carolina, thanks to the missed tackle from Solomon. Williams should have gotten smacked. I mean, that should have been a pancake and a half. But instead, it's first down at the 44. I don't know how Solomon missed that. Phillips on the play action. Phillips is sacked. Third and 13, a couple of plays after the sack. So we can stop the bleeding early. I can't believe Solomon missed that tackle like that, man. That's crazy. That's caught Steve Smith, but he's shy of the first down. Randolph going deep. Randolph has his man for a touchdown, Kansas City. Wow, a deep strike. Yes, sir. We are on the board first once again. Let's see if we can make PATs today. Can we make our PATs today? Yes, we can. Final minute of the first quarter. Score remains 7-0 after a couple of punts by both teams. Panthers have it at their own 20. Here's Phillips on the play action. Phillips throwing. It is caught Hennings. First down Carolina. Give to Williams, and Williams wrapped up and taken down after a solid gain on first. Phillips looking, throwing, wide open Steve Smith. Wow, takes a hit, but he is in Kansas City territory. Start of the second quarter, Panthers moving and grooving right now with the ball at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. Phillips, the give to Williams. Williams, an okay gain on first. What are you doing? Why did you do that? Undisciplined. Can't do that, man. You cannot do that. Steve Smith is uncovered right now. Luckily, they gave that thing to Williams, and Solomon can't get the Yayer because there's no gang tackle animation. First down, Carolina. Toss to Williams. And what a hit. Oh, what's the flag for? Thank you. Put it on them. Second and 20 after a holding penalty. Phillips throwing. It is caught. First and goal, Carolina. I told y'all it was the secondary that needed a little bit more help, and D'Angelo Williams walks into the end zone untouched. Back on defense, same score, 3.04 to play in the half. And they're going five wide. Boy, the Panthers want to air this thing out, huh? Intercepted Hornsby! Hornsby inside the 15! Hornsby taken down! It's Kansas City ball deep in Carolina territory. First and goal, Kansas City from the seven. Touchdowns on these drives, fellas. We need touchdowns on these drives. Had to settle for too many field goals in New Orleans, and it cost us the game. Shut oh! the gutty fumble! And we got it back. Touchdown, Kansas City! What a run by Shut. So seven points after the Ochuco Hornsby interception. It's 14 to seven with less than two minutes to play in the half. And the Chiefs are gonna start the second half with the football. So let's get a stop here. Let's get a stop right here, intercepted! Solomon Daniels, his third! The all-pro safety doing it again, right place. Right time. All right, offense, come on now. Come on now, blow this game open. Blow this game open. 
They send the blitz. We pick it up and get the first down. Let's go, baby. Play action. Wide open, man. Touchdown, Kansas City. PAT was missed, but it is 20-7 after the Solomon Daniels interception. Three and four games for the All-Pro Safety Future Hall of Famer, and that was almost intercepted on first down. Phillips looking, throws, middle of the field, and look at the hit by Suggs and Daniels, incomplete. Phillips throws well shy of the first down, and the ball is going back to Kansas City. Let's do something with it, Kansas City. Let's do something with it. Let's do something with it. Come on, KC. Let's do something with it. Randolph. He's looking deep, but throws short. Open Darrell Irvin. First down, timeout. Come on, Randolph. Has his man. First down, Darrell Irvin. Well, he is cooking like Caitlin Clark did South Carolina. He is cooking like Caitlin Clark did South Carolina. Second and 13, we've got one timeout. We are now under 20 seconds. What are we gonna do here? Give that thing the shut, and I think we're gonna settle for three. And that's exactly what we're doing. Call timeout, here comes McGuire. Let's see if he makes it. From 43 yards out, McGuire is good. 23 to 7 is your score at the break, and we begin the second half with the football. Seven. Offense went three and out to begin the second half, and then the punt was shanked. So Carolina has it at the KC 35. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. We're only up by 16, so we ain't we ain't blown this game open just yet. Williams going backwards, Solomon shoved to the ground. Give that thing to Williams. Williams with a good run. That'll set up a third and short. The fake. Phillips throwing over the top. It is batted around incomplete on third down. So Carolina will attempt a 46-yard field goal after essentially a three and out, but because of the bad punt, it set them up in field goal range, and it is good. Oh my goodness, Dwayne Bow taking it to the 20. The air attack is on one today. Air attack is on one, bro. Randolph is feeling it after throwing two picks in New Orleans. And that's going to be holding on us. All right, so we're back to a reasonable third down. This is third and eight from inside the 20. Faking the give, throwing to the outside, first down, touchdown! Kansas City on fire offensively. That's Randolph's third touchdown pass. Randolph threw two critical interceptions in New Orleans. He's got three touchdown passes today, and he's protected that football. PAT is good. Give to Williams. Nowhere to go. Let's go, baby. Phillips throwing up top. It is caught. He caught it. Carolina's got it at the KC 30. Phillips finds Smith. These boys need three touchdowns if they want to come back and win this game. And we ain't giving up a one. We ain't giving up not none of them. At least we don't plan to. Throwing quickly, has Jarrett. Here comes third down. Throwing quickly, intercepted! Harris! Oh, and he fumbled it! Solomon's got it. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. The Panthers got it back. Okay, so after all that, Carolina's now at the 26. Y'all still need three touchdowns. Just because y'all had a crazy play don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing at all. Throwing quickly. That was almost intercepted by Suggs. Phillips. Throwing. Middle of the field. And oh, my goodness. Solomon Daniels. Talk about an enforcer in the middle of the field. Are you kidding me? 
This is a dangerous man. This is a dangerous man. Oh my goodness. Jersey sales just shot up. Sheesh. To hit somebody like that, bro. Oh man. Yeah, he gonna talk to you after the game, bro. He gonna have to see you after the game. Incomplete. Panthers are 0 for 6 on third. Mike White coming in to attempt his second field goal. Nailed it from 46. This is from 44. It'll make it 30 to 13. They need touchdowns, not field goals, Mike. They need touchdowns, not field goals. He made it, but it don't matter. Two-minute warning here in Kansas City. It's going to be a win for the Chiefs. We're going to go to three and one. Valiant effort at the start by the Panthers, just not good enough today. Phillips is sacked. Phillips, what are you doing? Get back there and be a damn quarterback. Stop being weird. Trying to go no huddle. He don't even know how to do that. He got sacked again because you don't know what you're doing. Third and 18 for Carolina. Phillips is sacked again. Three sacks in a row. The ball is at the one yard line, bro. Solomon about to blitz. This is stupid. Solomon about to blitz. Solomon's gonna blitz. Phillips throws, caught, Molden, he's well shy. Ball goes to the Chiefs. Touchdown, shut. His second of the day. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Panthers get run over. Thank you, Solomon Daniels, second interception of the day. And Solomon takes it to midfield. Had to get that last interception in there so y'all could see Solomon the Don Daniels getting his fourth pick. Final score, 36 to 13. We are back, baby. The Kansas City Chiefs are back. That's what I'm talking about. So we're gonna do the offensive stats because this was probably the best offensive day we've seen on this channel in a long time. So we're gonna do these stats first. 260, three touchdowns from Mark Randolph, a 138.3 passer rating. He completed 16 of how many passes? 16 of 25. 16 to 25 and protected the football. My mans did not turn the ball over today after turning it over a couple of times in New Orleans. Rushing-wise, it was the rookie, John Shutt, with two touchdowns on 52 yards. He fumbled again. He did. He does have a fumbling issue, but to see him get into the end zone twice, that's encouraging. And lastly, look at the receiving yards, bro. Not, not just that, actually. Take a look at the averages. Darrell Irvin led the way with 127 yards. 127! Nine catches. He averaged 14 yards a catch. Dwayne Bowe averaged 16 yards a catch. Shut, 16 yards a catch. Byam, 18 yards a catch. He had a touchdown. Waller had a touchdown. He's the rookie tight end. And then it was Alonzo Rasby with that deep touchdown to get us all started in the first quarter. So two rookies getting into the end zone. Well, three if you count Shut and his two rushes. But we got the young guys stepping up, man. The young cats are stepping up. And it was Solomon Daniels, future Hall of Fame safety in his sixth season with probably the best start he's ever had to a season. Four interceptions in four games. Two of them came today. Man, uh, this is why he's in Kansas City. This is why the Chiefs went out and got him. It's all right there. It's all laid out in front of us. And I, when I say laid out, I mean laid out like that receiver Solomon laid out. <laughs> That's how laid out it is. It's very plain. Even if Solomon didn't get the interceptions today, should have had a Yeager on D'Angelo Williams. But even if he didn't get the picks, that hit to force the incompletion was perfect. Picture perfect. Lastly, the Panthers were 0 of 8 on third down. The Saints were like, what were the Saints last week, man? They were like 0 of 9, 0 of 10, maybe? Something crazy like that. We haven't given up a third down conversion in two weeks. Man, what kind of defense are we? 
We ain't gave up a third down conversion in two weeks. These brothers right here is something different. Oh, these brothers right here is something different. I'm telling you right now. And I told y'all, when his offense wakes up, we are a team to be feared. And hopefully this just sent a message to the rest of the NFL. Don't let what happened in New Orleans last week confuse you. Don't let it give you any hope. If you not them, you can't come at us any type of way. If you not built like the Saints, you can't come at us any type of way. You can't. The Panthers found that out today. I don't even know who we got next week. I think it's the Chargers. I might be wrong, though. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. But we will be back with another game next week. It is your boy Five Wars Deep. One love.